Beloved, April 1st, 2019, in dreams, I was on the bank of a river. It was a very wide river that I contemplated. In that river, I then saw a small boat approaching in the distance. I heard the one who was piloting the boat speak something loudly, but I did not understand. Then I looked behind me. I saw other people who were walking calmly through that place. The boat then kept approaching until I could clearly hear what the person that was aboard was saying. His words were, advance, get on board. So I began to tell everyone the message because I observed that none of them acted. I ran among everyone and began to repeat the message. At that moment, I saw acquaintances and strangers look at me without action on their part. At that moment, I looked towards the river and saw the one with the boat being very close, but it did not touch the shore. I looked again back at the people calmly in the place near the river and suddenly I saw how a roaring and burning fire at the most was coming towards us, devouring everything in its path. Then, at that moment, I screamed with all my might, Get on, get on the boat, get on the boat. But they dazed. They ran everywhere except towards the boat. Their senses were stunned and many were paralyzed by the situation and only shouted without moving. My companion told me, get on the boat. So I advanced forward without delay and went up. The captain told me, without looking at me, go and have a seat. I asked, what will happen to them? He said, take that megaphone and we'll sail close to shore and tell them to get on the boat at that moment i did so and the captain began to navigate along the river bank and i warned them through the megaphone many looked and said come to the shore so to get on to which the captain replied they must enter the water and get to the boat some very few began to enter the water and struggled to enter the boat as the fire licked the ground as it passed and almost reached the shore. At that time, I saw a young acquaintance and I urged him to jump since the boat was passing by a bank which at the end of the bank of that river was high. And I said to him, jump, jump, please jump. But he deleted. He looked towards the rest of the shore that was lowered to enter the water. But the fire was already in it, and in turn the fire was almost reaching him. Then I kept insisting, jump, but he delayed. At that moment, I saw a strong wind that blew, and a spark of fire hit the young man's back, and I heard him scream in pain. I told him again with all my might, jump. Now only you are left. Everyone else on the shore has already been consumed by the fire. Then, at those moments, the young man jumped, and when he fell into the water, he fell on a rock. And he was very injured and could hardly get up. The fire was coming down the shore wall toward the water where this young man was. Then the captain said, let's get closer, cover your faces and go behind the boat. At full steam, we will get close to the young man and we will throw a life preserver at him. He then did this way. He threw down the life preserver and this young man grabbed it. But his injuries did not allow him to advance. I threw on the rope to drag him. And so being able, he could advance. We were able to move him away from the shore. And the captain grabbed the rope with me and the young man was able to climb aboard. As the young man got on board, the captain addressed everyone and said, This is the result of caressing the anathemas. This will be the perdition of many. We were instructed to flee from the seven steps, which we have been told before, which are the ones that lead us to destruction. Beloved, 
At that moment, I woke up and was told Psalms chapter 9. I leave this with each one of us so that we can examine what the Lord wants to say to each one and that we can, by God's grace, by his mercy, be forgiven and accepted in him. May the Lord bless you all.